Hello everybody and welcome to race 9 of season 7 in the Turtle Creek Racing Series. We have just two races to go until we find out who our season 7 champion is, and we're going to take a look at the season standings here in just a second. As you can see, Martin Truex Jr. has an 8 point lead over Joey Logano with two races to go, and a 9 point lead over Jimmy Johnson. Ryan Blaney and Chase Elliott still have a small chance of winning the championship, but it looks like it's going to be a three-man race. And right now the pace car is on pit road, and we're racing. Matt Kenseth gets a great start. He's got the lead as to go through turns one and two. Jimmy Johnson fights back on the inside. But Matt Kenseth will pull away as they go down the back stretch. The 20 car of Matt Kenseth will lead lap number one. Jimmy Johnson is in second, and Kyle Larson's in third. Larson will look to the inside as they go into turn number one. He can't get there. And there's a car spinning. It's Chase Elliott. He goes up the racetrack. Jamie McMurray is involved. Danica Patrick is collected. The yellow flag is out. Let's look at a replay. As Chase Elliott, he definitely came down on Kevin Harvick. I don't think that he knew the four car was there. And Jamie McMurray and Danica Patrick had nowhere to go. And watch Casey Kane. He barely misses the 10 car. You can see they're three wide, so Kane couldn't go any lower, and he just barely missed hitting the back of Danica Patrick. Now Chase Elliott, Jamie McMurray, and Danica Patrick are all out of the race, but Kevin Harvick should be able to continue, although he will be a couple laps down. Anyway, the pace car is on pit road, and the green flag is back in the air. Just like on the initial start of the race, the outside lane will prevail as they come off of turn number two. Jimmy Johnson is going to clear Matt Kenseth as they go down the backstretch. Well, maybe not. Matt Kenseth is still fighting back on the inside. Remember, there are halfway bonus points given out this time by. So Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kenseth, and Kyle Larson will all get some halfway bonus points as they were first, second, and third. Single file now for the top five. Is a, it's a five car breakaway from the rest of the field. Three laps to go and Matt Kenseth is setting himself up to make a move off turn number two. The 20 car is going to look to the inside of Jimmy Johnson. Kyle Larson is going to push him as they go down the back stretch. Matt Kenseth has been really strong through the middle of the corner in this race. He's going to clear the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, but Kyle Larson looks to his inside. Two laps to go. Side by side for the lead with a lap and a half remaining. Larson has the advantage down the back stretch. He's going to clear him as they go into turn number three. One lap to go, and it's going to be a battle between Kyle Larson and Matt Kenseth for the win. Martin Truex Jr. is going to take third place away from Jimmy Johnson now. Kyle Larson is pulling away from Matt Kenseth a little bit as they go down the backstretch. Through turns three and four, Matt Kenseth may still have a chance at winning this race. He's going to get right up behind Kyle Larson, but he's not going to be able to get beside him. Kyle Larson is going to get the win in race nine. It's his first win of the season and his second career win in the Turtle Creek Racing Series. So now we'll take a look at the race results. You can see Kevin Harvick in 19th place. He did come back onto the racetrack, although he was three laps down and wasn't able to gain any positions. Here are the season standings. As you can see, Martin Truex Jr. has a 7-point lead over Jimmy Johnson with just one race to go. And that final race will be on Wednesday, September 20th. So please join me for that race. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and before you go, uh, please leave a comment below on what your favorite paint schemes were from Darlington. I'm not going to give any shout-outs or anything out. I just want to know what paint schemes you guys enjoyed the most from this past weekend at Darlington. So thanks again for watching, and please join me on Wednesday, September 20th.